Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's unnecessary, America doesn't care. Prince Harry's involvement in the suing of Daily Mail owner Associated Newspapers has put the spotlight back on Harry and Meghan Markle after the Queen's funeral, claimed former royal correspondent Nicholas Owen. It comes as Prince Harry, along with musician Elton John and his husband, David Furnish, actors Elizabeth Hurley and Sadie Frost and Baron historian Lawrence launched a lawsuit against the publication on Thursday, which produces the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday. Speaking to GB News, Nicholas Owen reflected on the case and the royals' involvement, speculating the outrage at the press goes back to his mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. As he discussed the famous faces getting involved in the possible suing, Nicholas remarked, but people will be focusing, as you say, on Prince Harry, and by extension his wife, Meghan Markle, who have a lot of background in suing, particularly associated newspapers, mostly successfully, it has to be said. He later claimed, I'll tell you one thing, from the point of view of a former royal correspondent, like myself, turns the spotlight straight back from all the funeral Queen Elizabeth II and the accession of King Charles III, here we are back to Prince Harry and, inevitably, Meghan. GB News presenter Stephen Dixon pointed out, it's got to be said, associated newspapers are vigorously denying this. They are, they are, they call it they call it preposterous, Nicholas replied. I mean, there's a whole long list of allegations being made here. They range from things that you might expect to things that you don't expect. After talking about the allegations, he continued, if there's any grounds at all in them, this is going to open up the most enormous row. As I say, it puts the spotlight straight back on the side of the royal family and previous legal cases, of which there have been many, and Harry himself. There's a nice picture you've got of him there being very cheerful, but not cheerful, really when it comes to the media, and why. Because we go back to the days of his mother, Princess Diana, 25 years ago. And there's another major connection, two major connections there. First of all, she suffered obviously, everybody knows, at the hands of the media and the paparazzi possibly chased her to a terribly untimely death. But also, Elton John. Elton John, the other major figure in this latest action, was, very, very close to Princess Diana performed at her funeral and was extremely friendly with her. The expert went on to point out that Elton John is also good friends with both Harry and Prince William. Then, in later years became extremely friendly with her sons, both Harry and William. Of course, William is not mentioned in this at all, one should be clear. But he then became extremely friendly with Meghan. So I think you ran some pictures a little earlier on, very interesting pictures of Elton John and David Furnish, who we see in the center there in the picture with Harry and Meghan. And Elton John putting his arms around Meghan in a lovely hugging gesture, great friends together whispering in her ear something nice. But it does emphasize that is this is a really big, big deal. And I have to say in all my years in this trade, and there have been a few, I don't recall anything remotely like it. The royal and the celebrities have claimed they have been victims of criminal activity breaches by the publisher. A spokesperson from Associated Newspapers said in a statement, We utterly and unambiguously refute these preposterous smears which appear to be nothing more than a pre-planned and orchestrated attempt to drag the mail titles into the phone hacking scandal concerning articles up to 30 years old.